Alright, so we have Fox Streak from Dank and Deepak, and Double Fox from Veckler and TD. Not typically their team comp. I think usually they've got a Falco in there as well. Historically, this is about 60 40 TD Veckler. Um, but this is before Deepak used to team with Sync. I don't think these two have met up recently. Or these four. Shoutouts to all my fans. This one's for Connor. Connor stuck at home doing unit ops homework. Alright, we're getting back into it. Alright, Battlefield. What are some things to look out for in this matchup? Um, I guess I'm not as familiar with these team comps, but... I think from the side of the Fox and the Sheik, nailing the edge guards is going to be bigger. Whereas the Foxes will be finding... Oh, that's not good. I imagine they'll be finding more vertical KOs. Um, and when they do that, trying to take that time to 2v1 as star, as the star KOs happen. And Light Fox, uh, do we know who that is? I do not. Light Fox is opting to take center stage as opposed to help with the edge guard. In a lot of these situations. Yeah, the safe recovery from Sheik to the platform because his teammate wasn't able to get the other guy off the ledge. Probably the best place to go. Looks like TD and Beckler are opting to hit the floaty away and then go for the Fox. That's what it seems right now. Oh, he went for the up throw instead of the back throw into his teammate. Barely shield seven that out. All right, so red team takes stage as blue seems to want to wait for his uh, his teammate with invincibility to come back. Yep. Two v one situation. Let's see what happens. Yeah, but Sheik, yeah, taking the ledge probably the safest option. Um, gives him just enough time with his ability for his teammate to get back and help him out because you don't want to be in between TD and Beckler because uh, no, along really with them good. being good players, they've got really strong team combos, some of the strongest in the state. Dark Fox shield looking pretty low. Red Fox being able to sneak back into the center. Alright, takes edge. For the edge guard. Oh, alright. Yeah, light so, boxes. I mean, I guess I guess at that percent for Sheik, uh, the best thing to do would be to just get as much damage as possible. Because resetting the edge guard isn't necessarily going to win you a stock since he's got a teammate to help him out. So maybe just an up smash or something or an up air on the punish, which I think is what he went for. Um, it's a little bit slow. Light Fox is doing a really good job at walling out the other enemy. So Dark Fox can defend his combos on the 1v1. Sheik did a good job there even though, uh, even though he didn't get too many hits. He just got in and distracted the other Fox so his teammate could uh, recover. That was a good try out of shield. Unfortunately it wasn't grounded so he can get no follow up off of it. See how they do his edge guard. Up covering all those options. Cool 2v1 combos right here. Yep, Fox is a good 2v1 character though, so he'll we'll see if he's able to take a couple stocks. But this is looking like a really big uh, deficit to surmount. He needs to find the edge guard here. Nope. Yep, and good job covering all the tech options between the two of them, especially when they're over by the ledge and being at the ledge covers in place, uh, miss tech and roll right. Okay. Pretty pretty automatic for that team to uh, to cover.
Just let Tempest know. Uh, he'll be okay to enter whatever time he's told me. I'll make sure Tempest gets into the bracket. Alright. Game two, let's see what the counter pick. Yeah, opting to run it back. Um, the battlefield pick sort of makes sense just because against Double Fox, uh, just with Fox having like vertical kill power so low ceilings are scary, but also the mobility to uh, abuse Dreamland. Battlefield at least gives them the, the advantage that uh, Fox's recovery is a little bit nerfed, uh, which can allow Sheik to get more easy, maybe F tilt fares, or just, just I mean, at least limits the Fox's options. Whereas yeah. Sheik will recover the same because she doesn't ride the wall. I can see probably Battlefield or FD being the two stages Red Team would want to counter pick to, but it's like they have the furthest. What adjustments do you think uh, Dank and Deepak need to do in order to bring it back? Um, it's hard to tell. I didn't pick out anything specific from the first game, but uh, we'll see if there's anything that we notice and see if it does work out for him. Did you have anything in mind? Um, I think they just need to land some of these edge guards better. And they're not really going for 2v1 situations, mostly because Sheep just get hit, hits off really fast. Mm -hmm. And if they can stick together and then see, like, right there they split up again. And in these 2v1 situations, they need to be on either side of um, the fox. Yep, and Dark Fox doing a good job there. He saw his teammate landed a grab, and he just jumped up as like right before the teammate up through, so he could help get a follow up off of it. She needs to go and help his teammate. See, and that was a tough recovery to cover for Fox, because if he wanted to stay on ledge, he was going to get hit by the poof. So maybe uh, maybe just refreshing would have been the only option, but she made it back safely. Uh, la didn't last too long, though. Light Fox, realizing that... Ooh, and the reverse fair from Sheik. That was awesome. Game looking pretty close. Going for those long singles combos and teams. Might be a little better to just try to get an up smash off that shine because two more shines only does, what, six damage. Good pressure by Dark Fox. Alright, looking like an even game. Oh baby, the chain. Doubles doesn't get as punished for it as he normally would. Dark Fox unstaling his shine. And we got another 2v1 for the Fox. Um, they, they, did, they did better this game. Kept it a lot closer, especially if this Fox is able to take one. But, uh... Looking bleak. Another, another situation that's a little, a little tough to, to recover from. Yep, and keep in mind this is a uh, best 2 out of 3. Oh, so this is it. Okay. So he's fighting for his tournament life. He wants to lose his finals. Oh, that's it. Oh, I just wasn't able to get up there fast enough. Oh, interesting option going to the top platform. It didn't look like the blue team expected that. And this fox... Oh, yep, yep, and he's dead. But yeah, good showing. Um, looks like... Looks like Deepak and Dank adapted enough to keep the second game a lot scarier for uh, TD and Vecklor, but TD and Vecklor get to move on. Get, I believe, a rematch with Triple R and uh, Slayer. I think they played earlier.